I mean, um, what did you just make me watch, Alan? So it's the beginning of another week, which means it's the beginning of another movie club. So I'm doing a review for the Harry Movie Club. Yay. So I just finished watching the BFG. It's a 1989 cartoon, I'm guessing, based on a book. I never heard about this movie before. I haven't heard about the BFG. I haven't heard about the book or anything. I had no idea what I was about to watch. If you don't want to know what the BFG is about, it is about a little girl who lives in an orphanage who one night is, well, kidnapped kind of by a giant and taken to his house. Turns out that he makes dreams for kids and she wants to help save the kids from the evil giants. Now the BFG stands for Big Friendly Giant, but in my mind, every time they kept saying BFG, I was thinking of some rapper. I didn't think Big Friendly Giant, I just thought Big Fucking Gremlin. Now the movie is obviously made for kids, it is a kids movie, however, I was surprised at how many times I felt freaked out a little bit, a bit spooked almost. Things were a bit scary and the animations are, well, the, the drawings are quite scary sometimes as well, but it is still made for kids, which is also why I think I did not enjoy this too much. I thought, deep down, I just thought it was weird. I think it's because I, again, I didn't know anything about it. It hasn't been a part of my childhood. I didn't know about the book or anything. I can see why kids would enjoy it. I could see why Maybe in the future when I have kids, I would watch it with them. But I, as an adult, not knowing anything about this, did not like it. I do like old cartoons. I do like old um, children's movies. I love Felix the Cat, for example, but that's because I grew up with it. If I watched it now, I'd probably say, what is this piece of shit? And turn it off. And that's kind of what I felt with this movie. It did have some, some, some good qualities and it did have a lot of great ideas. And I think it was, it was good at times, but just really just didn't interest me. I, I found myself doing a lot of other stuff that I shouldn't do while in, like really sitting down watching a movie. You know, you should be focused on the movie and it just did not grab my attention that much. That said, I would definitely recommend it to families with children because I think that they might enjoy it and I think they might enjoy the relationship between the giant and the little girl and the way that they teach each, teach each other. Um, different things, but I didn't enjoy it too much. I did like the drawings. I think that the, the drawing of the, the characters was, was really good, considering that it was, it is more than 20 years old, this movie. Um, however, I did not like the organization between the, the voices and, and the actions that they did. I think that it was a bit off. I don't know if it was the version that I watched or if it's just a general thing. I just thought that it looked really, really fake and it didn't seem as though the characters were actually saying what they were saying. It, sound, it almost seemed like it was being dubbed weirdly in some way, like it was meant for another language and then the English was popped on top of it. That seemed really off for me and, and that kind of annoyed me a little bit actually. Um, also, a lot of there was a lot of mumbling, and there are a lot of things I did not actually understand. For me, I would have enjoyed some subtitles because I think that would have helped me, me a bit more. But yeah, the sounds and and the voices did really annoy me quite a lot. I think it was funny that the giant actually uh, didn't have perfect English, and that he kept saying words wrong, because it kind of reminded me of myself. But other than that, it was just a bit flat with the voices. So overall, I guess I'd say that on one hand, I did enjoy this movie and I would recommend it, but I would recommend it to the right audience. And the right audience is not a girl uh, in her 20s watching this movie alone. The right audience would be with a family, watching it together with their kids. That, that would be the audience of this movie, in my opinion. So I'll not say that I hate this movie, I'll just say that I didn't enjoy it because it was not meant for someone like me. That being said, had I known about the story of the BFG, had I read the novel or the book or whatever it was, I would probably love this. I, I would probably enjoy it a lot more, but since I didn't know anything about it, it just felt a bit weird to me. So that's where I'm gonna leave this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the thumbs up button and I'll see you next week with a review for hopefully Sourcebud Movie Club.